Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another Tuesday evening drive. I am just he heading out from the post office. I checked my P.O. box that I just opened, and there's nothing in there. What, you guys don't like me anymore? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But guys, I just set this thing up Friday, so I was thinking, you know, it's not really enough time for people to send stuff, but it's set up. I will check again next week. But yeah, we don't got anything yet. And that's cool, you know, I don't mind being embarrassed when I'm next to other people and they see I'm checking my mailbox and there's nothing in there. You know, I don't mind being embarrassed and people think that I don't have any friends. You know, it's it's cool. I'm, I like that. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So, another thing too, I'm using the lapel mic again. I don't know, this this mic stinks, but the mic, the mic on the iPhone is even worse. So I'm picking the lesser of two evils. And something I noticed, I've seen other people use this mic and somehow they have like, you know those little soft covers you can put over microphones? They have those, but it didn't come with my mic. So I don't know, I don't know what to do here. So I have it a little bit lower. Hopefully that makes it a little better. Hopefully it's not gonna be redlining like it was before. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. But guys, I hope you're all doing well. I. I'm going to give you guys a little heads up, a little update as far as what's going on and what to expect in the coming week. So, this weekend, I am going on an annual guys fishing trip for our family. And that is, uh, that is something I'm preparing for. Now, on the channel, I try to do two videos a day. And I am going crazy trying to get videos up so you guys will see those two videos every day problem is I don't have enough time to make all those videos maybe I don't know maybe I do I'm just, I don't think I'm going to have the time we'll see especially since I have three days to do this and most of Wednesday I'm gonna be live streaming so I don't know how it's gonna happen but we'll see so just giving you a heads up this weekend videos might be a little sparse it might be one video a day it might be two some days we'll see I'm gonna do the best I can but don't panic if you don't see a lot of videos and another announcement I announced this at last stream but there won't be a stream this Saturday because like I said I'm gonna be on this fishing trip but we will resume Wednesday and also some people have been asking when the next arc video is gonna be guys I'm so sorry to say it but I think I'm going to be dropping the ARC series, and I'm really sorry, but here's, here's the problem. I love ARC, but the problem is it just takes, it's too grindy, like it takes too long to do stuff. I was talking about this during the stream. To tame a dinosaur, like a relatively large dinosaur, it takes between three to four hours if you do it right. And during that three to four hours, you know what you're doing? You're feeding it berries. You're feeding it narco berries or narcotics. You are making sure you have enough berries. You have to collect the berries first, which takes a while. I personally don't have three to four hours to stand there. And like, you can't walk away and come back. You have to stand there. You have to be there the whole time. Because if you all go away, some of the other dinosaurs might eat your dinosaur that you're trying to tame. I couldn't do that. And after you do that, I've seen probably every single person that I know playing Ark. I've seen, oh, I lost this dinosaur, this dinosaur died, I lost this one. So you put all that time in and then you lose it. So I know you can avoid it by doing smart things, but even if you do all the right things, you can still lose them. But it's just not something I have the time to do. And I know a lot of you would support the series even if I was just playing the game and I didn't tame a bunch of dinosaurs. But most people want to see dinosaurs tamed and written on and all that kind of stuff but I just don't have to have the time to do it with doing two videos a day and so many other series so I'm really sorry but ARC is no longer and I don't know maybe something might happen to change my mind but that, I'm pretty sure that's what's gonna happen so I'm really sorry but we're not gonna do ARC but I have another series and I'm not gonna announce it yet. Keep your eyes peeled, we're aiming for tomorrow, but I have another series that's gonna replace it, and I'm excited. I'm more excited about this than ARC, so hopefully you guys will like it too. Holy crap, dude, the sky is really dark. Okay, we haven't even gotten into any questions. First question, Jeffy Jeff said, do you have any plans for art, 
because you started doing your art, your own art, a while back. So I think he's talking about like channel graphics and stuff. So I, for the most part, have done my own channel art and that kind of stuff. Like I did have Terrace HD make a banner for me back when it was the old YouTube banners and Jay Wolves at my door, he's helped me with stuff. He actually helped me design my t-shirt. But for the most part, I have done most of my own like channel art and stuff like that. So as far as like plans for the future, um, I'm still wanting to do my own stuff. I love doing thumbnails. Doing thumbnails is one of my favorite things to do. And I have been thinking about it. I've been thinking about doing a rebranding at some point. I don't know when it's gonna be, but I'm considering having a professional do it because like I like what I can come up with, but I'd be interested to see what a professional can do. And I and I'm friends with pr some professional artists, so you know I might go that route. But we'll see. Like right now, I'm happy with with what with what I have. Don't, don't look at that bubble I just spit out. <laughs> I'm happy with what I have, but I'm like I said, I'm thinking about doing some rebranding eventually. Next question. Codifax said, "I was lucky enough to have the day from hell yesterday." Uh, have you ever had any days like that and what do you do to help you get through them? So yes, I have had very bad days before and it is so frustrating. Like it is, there's nothing worse than when things are going wrong and then it just compounds and, and compounds and other things go wrong. And when that happens, little things that go wrong that normally wouldn't bother you make you so mad. So. I've had those days, and those days absolutely stink. Like, yesterday was a pretty tough day. Today, I'm actually, I, today I'm getting, I was getting a little frustrated just because there's so many things I wanna do, and I know I don't have the time to do it all, and it, it's frustrating to me. So, so there, I'll tell you some things that, that I do that helps me get through tough days. First thing, and this isn't gonna apply to everybody, but first thing I do is like, I pray about the situation, and that's something that, that goes a long way with me. It brings me peace, helps me to, to get a different perspective on things and just get out of the situation. Another thing that helps is just, you know, getting out of the situation, taking just a few minutes, like everybody has a few minutes, to just get in a quiet room, sit down in a chair, and just not do anything for a few seconds and just like breathe. It sounds strange, but deeply breathing is actually a really healthy habit to do from time to time. Like, cause when you're stressed, you hold your breath. You don't realize this, but you hold your breath or you breathe really shallow and that's not good. It causes your muscles to tense up. You don't get as much oxygen in your brain and your body. So, when you're stressed, you're you're not breathing as much. So taking some time to set aside just a few minutes just to breathe deeply. And you would be surprised how much that helps. Like it it's just really nice. It's it's calming and you can get it's another way to help you get a, a good perspective on things. Because when you're in the middle of a horrible day, when you're in the middle of a horrible day, everything seems worse than it actually is and once you get out of this situation you know you'll you'll realize it like the next day or a few days later once you get out of the situ situation you're like you know what this actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was and you know if you just take the time to set aside you realize it even quicker and the last thing is just go through it it's uncomfortable, but just going through it and realize, man, this just stinks. I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna do whatever I can to make the best out of the situation. I know this is gonna make me stronger because tough times, it makes you stronger. And look for the good, look for the good in it because a lot of times when things are tough, things are difficult, a bunch of stupid stuff is happening. There's good in it, there's good in it. and. You gotta get creative sometimes, but but looking for the good in things it really does help. So those are just those just few things that help me. Maybe put.
put in the comments things that help you guys when you're having a really bad day. I'd be interested to see it. Next question was from that one girl. Greetings from Ireland. Thank you. Greetings to Ireland. That one girl said, they said, oh, what's your favorite video game genre? So I don't really have one specific favorite genre, but the types of games that I like in general are like live action games, like games where where you do something and it happens as, as soon as you do it, like as opposed to like RPG or role playing games, or I think that's what you call them, RPG games, turn based games. Those games I have a harder time getting into. I don't know why, but I just have a hard time getting into those. Like fast pace, fast action, or or just like uh, I don't even know what you want to lump that whole group into, but but just <laughs> basically every game except RPGs and turn-based games. Uh, I guess that's the best way to describe it for me. But I just love games that look nice that are really fun, and there's a lot of ways to accomplish that goal. Next question was from Elise. Elise said, this is from my eight-year-old son, Sebastian. He said, do you like space? What do you think about the Pluto flyby? So here's something that you guys may or may not know about me. I don't have cable. I don't watch the news, and I don't pay attention to the news. So I didn't even, I didn't even know there was a Pluto flyby. I don't know what happened, so I'm assuming that a satellite went by and saw Pluto or something. I don't know. I don't know. And I'm, I'm sorry if, if that offends anybody who cares a lot about space that I don't know about it, but I just, I just didn't know. But that sounds cool. Now I'm going to look into it and see what happened because that sounds cool. But I do love space. And when I was younger, I actually wanted to be an astronaut. But the thing is, the only reason I wanted to be an astronaut was because I wanted to float. And I thought it would be really fun to be able to float. So, you know, going into space was just something that, that makes it even more fun. And as far as space goes, like, I'm really looking forward to that No Man's Sky game, which looks like a really cool space exploration game like you can fly to any planet there's like billions of planets in this game they're all different and you can just you can go to any of them land on them see their their wildlife all that kind of stuff it just looks really cool last question was from uh michael pretty sure it was michael the it was at something llama weird llama maybe but he said, hey, I'm turning 16 soon. Any advice for a first car? So I can't give you any advice for like a specific first car, but one thing that I will say is I would recommend you get a used car, something that you wouldn't mind like getting in a fender bender in or something like that, because I'm not saying you're gonna get an accident, but usually when you, when you get a first car, you don't want the car to be like, super nice, brand new, that kind of thing. Partly because I'm, I'm pretty sure the younger you are, the higher the insurance is, that kind of thing. But what I used to do is go on Auto Trader and just, just browse through the cars. So you can pick like, you wanna get an idea, do you want like something that has four wheel drive? Do you live in, in an area where in the winter, like there's a lot of snow or do you not have to worry about that? Do you want like a smaller car, that kind of thing. So you can pick your category then you can find like the specific car you want and then just browse and look, 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 look for the best deal you can find. The, the more time you spend, the more vehicles you'll see, the better chance that you'll be able to find one that's really, that's a really good price. So I hope that just gives you a little bit of help and guidance as far as your car. It's basically up to you. But yeah, I'm a big fan of buying used. I don't know, that's just my thing. Like when you buy a new car, it depreciates as soon as you drive off the lot. So like, I don't know, I like used. But anyway guys, I think that's gonna do it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit that like button. And I will see you guys in the next two days of drive. Oh, what? Dude, we are opening so many boxes. Dude, it looks like a vampire or something. No way. What is Specimen 115? I really think it's just an alien.